Hi everybody, it's Mr. Like, and I'm here next to the biology rooms at Bettendorf High School. Biology is the study of living things in life. A biologist studies all kinds of different things, from how organisms grow, how organisms reproduce, how they evolve, where they live and in what kind of habitats they have, and how, do, how can we protect them. Studying biology is a really cool thing. In our school, we have some fish. Do you guys have any class pets? Or maybe you have some pets at home. Do you guys know what a group of fish is called? It's actually called a school. Do you know about any other types of animals and what groups of those animals are called? Hmm. I know there's a pack of wolves. Can you think of any more? An Ambush of Tigers by Betsy R. Rosenthal, illustrated by Jago. A wild gathering of collective nouns. Collective nouns are nouns that we use to group things, like a band of musicians or a school of fish. Betsy does a really nice job using these different kind of collective nouns in really creative ways. I want you to listen for all of the different correct collective nouns and how she uses them both to describe uh, the type of animals when they work together and uh, kind of mixing it in with what we use the nouns for, for other things. An ambush of tigers, a wild collecting of collective nouns, a wild gathering of collective nouns. Do you ever wonder what animals do when they gather in groups of more than two? Does a tower of giraffes way up high Spy a raft of otters floating by? Do leaps of leopards jump into trees while armies of herring march in the seas? Does a pack of wolves load up bags for vacation? Does a cast of hawks get a standing ovation? When we have a group of hawks that are put together, we call them a cast of hawks. Getting a standing ovation is often something someone does when they're done with a play. So in this case, she used the word cast both as a way to describe the hawks and use it as getting a standing ovation like the hawks are in a play. Pretty creative, Betsy. Should a crash of rhinos stay off the street and a shiver of sharks turn up the heat? Does a team of oxen lose every race? A bouquet of pheasants fit in a vase? Where else do we use the word bouquet? Would a labor of moles wear polka dot ties when it goes to work for a business of flies? Who cleans up when a clutter of cats gets fooled by the pranks of a mischief of rats? Does a prickle of porcupines feel any pain? Can a flush of mallards get sucked down the drain? When a murder of crows leaves barely a trace, is a sleuth of bears hot on the case? Should a stand of flamingos be offered a seat by a host of sparrows who invite them to eat? Can a parcel of penguins be sent in the mail, an intrusion of roaches be thrown into jail? Does a string of ponies that's knotted and tied Stop a drove of sheep to ask for a ride? Would you buy cookies from a troop of kangaroos who use their pouches for collecting the dues? Should a walk of snails get out of the way of a rumba of rattlesnakes dancing all day? Does an ambush of tigers quietly creep 
past a bed of oysters that snores in its sleep? When a band of gorillas sets up to play, does a stench of skunks scare them away? Does a lounge of lizards bask in the sun while a party of jays is looking for fun? When all of these animals receive an invitation to come together for a huge celebration, would you call it a mob, a sea, a crowd? Whatever it is, it sure is loud. An Ambush of Tigers by Betsy R. Rosenthal. Illustrated by Jago. Wow.